Hello girls, it's Renee and what do I have for you on this Thursday evening? You asked for it. What can we do to trim this inner thigh punch? I know inner thighs are kind of tough to get to, aren't they? Like we can kind of do the tops and the quads and maybe the hamstrings and hips, but how do you get rid of the inner thigh punch? Well, the best thing to think about is, okay, if I want to tighten this, I have to think about how can I squeeze right in here in the inner thighs so I can engage those muscles and shorten them up, right? Makes perfect sense. All right, so I have three moves that I put together for us to play with today with some modifications, okay? So the first ones I have, I'm actually going to be using my trusty little green ball and a pole. Now, if you don't have a ball and a pole, you can still do it anyway. Some people are coming on. This is the weirdest thing. Sometimes they tell me who the people are with your names, and other times all I get is Facebook user. I have no idea why I might do it one way and the other, and I get your name. So, hi, you guys. Thanks for being on here. Send me lots of comments. Let's make it interactive. And if I don't call your name out, it's because I don't know who you are. It's not going to tell me. All right, let's get started. So, the first ones I want to show you are variations of squats. Now, you know, in T-TAP, we don't really do a lot of squats. We do plies, don't we? We don't do a lot of squats. Now, the one place where Teresa did do a squat with Senior Fit Oil Wells. So I'm just gonna show you real quick because it's really important to not hurt our knees when we do squats. And for those of us who might not really be exercisers, you might not really know how to do them. So I thought I'd give you a shot here and show you. So I'm just gonna put my feet like hip width for these, okay? A squat is when you untuck, okay, now look, my knee and my ankle are in a straight line. And you arch back, I'm just gonna put my hands on my knees here, and you drop your tail down, okay? As opposed to bringing those knees forward. So that can be hard on the knees. So you really wanna think, shift back, arch your tail back. Now watch what I'm gonna do with my tail. I'm gonna press my hips forward to come up. When I get all the way up there, I'm gonna take those little tushies, I want you to squeeze them and press them slightly forward. Now watch what I just did. As soon as I did this, watch the little belly. All I'm going to do is squeeze my tush and press it forward. Yeah, did you notice how it engages lower belly? So we're going to be working pelvic floor with these as well as inner thighs. I love a little multitasking for this, right? So that's your squat. Okay, so I want to show you how to get extra inner thigh pudge burned away by doing some squats but I'm going to use my trusty ball. Now, if you don't have a ball, you can A, visualize and still do the, this, so you're creating resistance. You can even put a pillow there. I happen to love the ball. So I'm gonna put my ball right up here above the knees, okay? And then just kind of get your feet parallel wherever they're comfortable. So now, we're gonna do our squat back, and I'm gonna bring my arms forward with a slight bend of my elbows, okay? So I'm gonna go back, and notice what I'm doing. I'm back, my knees aren't coming forward. Now I want you to connect and think. Squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze that ball as you come up, hips come forward, you're squeezing the tush forward, and then drop it back down. Oh yeah, so with the upper body, you're squeezing, you're bringing those ribs up, squeezing. Release the tush and even the squeeze and then go back down. So it's a down, you may need to keep wiggling the feet. I do squeeze those inner thighs as you come up, squeeze the tush and release. So you're working inner thighs and pelvic floor and ribs up, okay? So now I'm gonna grab my trusty pole. Again, if you don't have one, it's okay, you can either use a chair or you probably don't even need it, but I just want to show you because I love this. As we do it, I like to put it in between my legs and I like to go down and then reach forward. So now you can squeeze that ball, push up, up, up. You're also getting your ribs up and squeezing and then taking it back down. So it's come up, squeeze, 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 squeeze those glutes and take them back down. How about just one more time? Come on up, squeeze, squeeze the glutes 
and release. Now, I want you to go down. Whether you have a pole or you don't, you're in that low position. We're going to do some little pulsing. What does that mean? You're going to come up a little, squeeze, release, drop. So it's a squeeze up, release, drop. So you're squeezing the ball just a little, dropping. Yeah, you're also working some booty here, girls. Lift and drop. Reach up and drop. So you're squeezing that ball. You're releasing the ball. Let's just squeeze and come all the way up and release. You think you're getting some good inner thighs? You can even just stand here like this. Squeeze the glutes, press forward, and just squeeze the ball, release. Squeeze the ball, release. Squeeze the ball, release. Yeah, you're engaging inner thighs, are you not? All right, now I want to show you two more little variations of this, okay? So first of all, I think it's kind of interesting to go down into a squat. I'm just going to hold this here because I'm talking here. I don't want to fall and embarrass the heck out of myself here. So, you know, we do most of our things in here in parallel foot. So you could just go down parallel foot and do some little pulsing. So remember, you're squeeze when you come up, you release, you go down. You squeeze when you come up, you release when you go down. And you can kind of hold your upper body here so you're not thinking about it because now I want you to take those feet. Are you ready? I want you to internally rotate them. I want you to give yourself a pigeon toe, slight. Now you're down, arching. Come up in the pigeon toe, release. Come up, release. It's gonna feel very different. Now notice, you're not. those knees aren't coming all the way to the center because you got that ball. You're gonna really feel that inner thighs, girls, toes. Good, and then bring them back center parallel and come on up. Woo! -hoo. Now, for those of you who are very hardcore about this, okay, I'm going to give you one more little variation, and that is same thing where the ball is, but watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one foot behind the other. So my knees are level to each other. I'm holding the ball level there, but one foot is slightly in front of the other. Okay, and now you're going to go down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up, press and release. And then once you're down there, you can do some squeeze releases, little. Okay, and if you really want a little more, you can lift your heels. Oh, yeah, get yourself in balance. That's where you really need something to hold on to. So now you don't want to be all the way up like stiletto heel. You want to be down like in a kitten heel, you know, a little, a little heel, and feel those ball joints. So now you're going to squat back. My heels are lifted, and I'm going to go up a little, down a little. Squeeze the inner thighs. Release. Squeeze the inner thighs. Release. Two more. Squeeze them. Release. Let's squeeze and come all the way on up. Drop those heels. Ta-da! You have worked your inner thighs. Yes, you'll have to go to the other side with the other foot in front and the other so that we can keep balanced. But how about that? Now, we're not going to use the ball anymore. We're not even going to use the pole, although we could on this next one. So you guys feeling that? Let me just kind of check and see what you think of that first one that I did for you. What ball are you using? Great question. So I use, I have lots of different balls. These are nine inch they're exercise balls. So I get mine, um, you can get it at Walmart. This purple one, I believe, I got it at Walmart. It says Gold's Gym on it. <laughs> this is what's called a Bender ball, just a name. Leslie Bender is a great um, Pilates teacher and she created her own ball. And I have to tell you, it actually is really, really nice. And, um, and so they're not weighted. So make sure this is not a weighted ball. It's sort of like a playground ball. You can actually get something like that too. Nine inch, you can search for it on Pilates ball, Bender ball, nine inch little plastic ball, nine, ten dollars. Walmart has it for four. Okay, so that's what I'm using. You can get them in any place. And I love the ball because it helps us get extra muscle activation. You can put a ball in to so many of the other workouts. I've done some other videos on this. And the muscle activation is out of sight. Even you can use them for who knows. All right. So what else? Excited to learn. Thank you. First timer. I'm so glad. Welcome. So we are going to be rocking it now. Okay. So now this next one you might not have ever seen. This is kind of fun too. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stand with your feet here. 
Let's start with putting our toes together. I'm going to take this three inner thigh, um, the words off of here so you can still see what I'm doing here. I'm going to take that off. That's probably a little easier, right? You can see my feet easier. Okay, so you guys ready? So what I want you to do is putting your feet together just to start, okay? I want you to shift back into your heels and I want you to feel you're gonna externally rotate the whole thigh and bring your feet out into, I call it a V, a pie shape. I think it's first position in ballet, but it's you're really externally rotating. So it's not just the feet. You see the difference there? I'm just doing my feet. Externally rotating, I'm getting my rotators, okay? And there's a reason we wanna do that for this one. Good work, so give me a little knee bend, and then just take one leg out. Yeah, it looks very ballet-like, right? Now, notice what I just did. I just bent both of my knees, okay, slightly. You can keep the weight on this back leg. Now, here's the deal, the ribs are up. I want you to think about your tail, it's pressing down. And I want you to think about those thighs. We're externally rotating, okay? So you can either use a pole to hold your balance. You can do this. I might do this just to keep my ribs up. And now all you're going to do is keep that angle and you're going to lift the leg and slowly drop. So it's a leg lift and down. But again, you're tucked and turned out. So as you're lifting, can you see what you're doing? You're lifting using your inner thighs. Oh, you think that might help get a bit of a little bit of inner thigh punch? It does keep the standard bent, keep tucked. So you might remember Teresa always going tuck turnout from the hip and knee. Tuck turnout, that's what it is. Now, for those of you hardcore hold, ribs up, tailbone turned out, little pulses up, little pulses up. And the more you can get turned out, and if you're tight in the hips, you just go to wherever you can, and over time you open more. Can you feel it? Inner thigh, and then take it down, and let's just go to the other side while we're doing it. If you're doing it with me, and I hope you are, check it out. So we're gonna bend both, tucking under. Good, I like putting my hands here so I can press down to get the torso weight up out of my hips. Tailbone is down, you're ready. Lifting the leg and down. It's really important as I'm saying this to turn out hip and knee, keep the tuck, and keep the angle. So when you're here, it's almost like you're gonna think knee down, foot up. Did you see what I just did? Like knee goes down, foot up, just a little bit. It's just to get you to turn out here and keep thinking about lifting from the inner thigh. And then little pulses, little pulses. This is very good for balance too, tucking. Well, I'm kind of surprised that I'm not on the ground yet. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think you got it, right? And a little bit of a, I call it the little cha-cha. We do a little bit of a T-tap cha-cha here and get rid of some of that tension. So tell me, you guys, so far, am I doing good? What you thinking? You think you can do this? Anybody else? Great, I have a few. Oh, the balls are great. Yes, excellent. Let me just see if I can scroll down for anything else. Any other questions that are coming on yet? I'm not seeing it. Okay, now, you guys. I have one more, and this one is fabulous. And this is a T-tap move. I'm going to see if I can drop my camera just a little bit to make it a little easier for you to see me because it's a floor move. Now, I want you to post here. See if I can get you there. That's good enough, right? Move the little pole out here. All right. So I want you to post right here if you have ever done the crab claws. T-Tap Crab Claws, they're on the Critter Crunch DVDs, and they're actually even on Finger and Foot Fitness DVD. If you have, just post there, C, for Crab Claw. Okay, if not, you are gonna learn this move tonight, and it is fabulous. All right, so the first thing when Teresa taught this that she did, and I always really love this, is she had us take our feet, and begin to do a bit of a foot massage. Now you're gonna see why in a second. I'm gonna kind of come up here a little bit closer. So here's the foot. So what you wanna do is taking your same size hand, see how I'm putting my thumb right here at the bottom of my big toe ball joint. 
and then the other hand around here. So you're just kind of really massaging into that foot to just give it some good mobility and some heat, some flexibility. She would take the fingers and fan her toes out. So you really are working to warm up both sides of the feet before we did this. So I'm just gonna do this one too, same thing, warming up the foot because the foot position on crab claws makes so much difference. So you're thinking, Renee, I'm talking inner thighs. What you doing with the feet? <laughs> well, you know, the feet are connected to the inner thighs in a certain weird way, right? So just keep doing this. Good. Some people have some C's. I love it. All right. So here's crab claws. You want to sit back. You're going to have your feet. The heels are going to be butt bones as opposed to too wide and as opposed to having them together, too close, okay? So you're gonna have them right in alignment with, we call it the butt bones, the sit bones. Now, notice I'm gonna show you the foot position. So most of the time, people will just go right on the side of the foot, okay? But for crab claw, you wanna take your feet and you want to externally rotate the feet so that it's the middle and last two toes that are on the ground. So watch, here I'm like this. Now I'm going to turn my feet. See how I'm externally rotating them and my heels are lifted. Now, why would I do that? Well, here's side, just look what's happening up here. You're tucking under, I'm like this. That's good, that'll work, but not really for this. And then I'm going to do both turn. So. When you're sitting like this, your upper body can be kind of lean and back slouching because you want to be able to lean back. You're going to think, curl your tailbone under, okay? So you're really being held by these last three toes. And you know what? I'm feeling my inner thighs right now just doing this, just from the ball and everything, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You are going to push press this foot into the ground with the tuck to let this one lift. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm keeping that exact angle and dropping. So you tuck, you press, lift and drop. Tuck, press the other foot, lift and drop. Press, lift and drop. You're gonna feel that inner thighs, outer thighs, press, lift and drop. Now she did it to hoe downs, okay? To the count of hoe downs. So I just did four on one side. You ready? Let's go to the other side. So you're gonna press that foot in, keep that tuck belly in and lift and drop and two, and drop. So I'm almost thinking like knee down, foot up. Three, and drop. Tuck, four, and drop. All right, I'm not gonna do another set of fours. Let's go into some twos, because this is intense, okay? So we're gonna do twos, and I'm gonna go a little faster. So you're gonna tuck, press, lift, four, two, switch sides, press, lift, four, two, twos again, press, lift, four, two, press, other side, four, two. Now singles, lift, touch, press, touch, Press that other foot and last two and ha. Uh, now, from here, from here, you're gonna lift the knees up. Now, notice you're gonna know that your foot was right in alignment because when you lift the knees, look what happens. I'm gonna bring them in closer. My knees and my ankles are right in alignment with my hip ball joints, right? Now, you're gonna lift the heels, okay? Lifting the heels. And you're going to start to open the knees out. Now, as you do this, notice how I'm on my little toes here. My heels are lifted. I'm going to lean back even more. And I am going to press my heels forward with a tuck. And then I'm going to bring the heels back up. I'm going to come to my ball joints. And I'm going to go again. Open, 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 tuck, press. Bring them out and up. One more time. Open. Then press those heels up and center. Woo, you guys, it's intense. Now you want to stretch that out just a little bit to release some of that tension. So I was thinking this would be a good one for today. So one leg is over, one leg is up. You're going to take the leg that's up, opposite arm across. You might have seen this in yoga, wiggling around. But here's the difference. I'm going to show it how you can use a little bit of somatics to actually get rid of that tension. And that's because when you go into a deep stretch, the body is always working against you. So instead, you're gonna sit up tall, 
This arm is here. You're trying to press that in. You're going to feel some tension here. It's actually, sorry, I'm going to change it up. I think it'll be easier for most of us if we do a hand. So all you're going to do is create a slight amount of resistance, pressing the hand into the knee, knee into the hand, and the other hand back. Gently create resistance and turn the shoulders. Only go to where you're like, oh, that's, I don't want to go into a deep stretch. Just, okay, I can feel that. And slowly release and relax everything. And then let's just do it again. You come up, just do a little bit of resistance as you come around. You might find the second time you feel like you can go a little bit further and relax. Good work. And that really helps to actually repattern that instead of contracting back up when you leave. So let's go to the other side. Same move. This leg's back and this is here. And I know that this position isn't available to all of you. So I'm just doing it as for those of you that can do it. Might as well give you something a little different, right? Inhale. And then we're just going to gently create resistance. Hand against knee, knee against hand. The other arm is going to bring you back. And you just kind of see where the body wants to go to at this point. In other words, don't try and jam it up and really pressure. It's not like that. You just go to wherever it wants to go. And then you gently release back forward and kind of relax. And then we'll do it just one more time. Bringing it around. You're creating resistance. Feeling that it lengthening out then in the hip and in the IT band. And breathe. Release it. So there you guys have it. You can use bow, you can use pole, you can use nothing. You can get out your finger and foot. Great for inner thigh. So let me see. What do you guys think? Who's going to do it? Anybody can get it? Where can we find your ball workouts? Thank you so much for asking. Um, I have them on the TTAP store. And you know what? Afterwards, I'll Got to post here a link for you. And for any of you guys that like the way I teach or feel like that might be helpful, just let me know. I have a 30-day recorded class package. And every day when I teach live, I record them. So you get a brand new, completely different class every day. Um, or come on live if your schedule meets mine. Love to have you on live as well. Whatever works for you. Just want to give you as much as you can to just really help you feel and look your best. Because this T-Top method. Method is amazing. Some gentle somatic yoga, amazing. But you know, I know most of you are here for T-Tap and you know that it is my passion. So any other questions that I can see over there on the side? And thank you for asking that. I really appreciate it. Well, listen, guys, I really want you to try these and then please come back and post how they are working for you. Okay. And have a fantastic day. Thanks for checking in with me. Bye, guys.